Hi, it is Monday, June 10th, 2024. I thought we could play some daily games. So, GeoGrid is a game we haven't played yet, and it's one of my favorites, so let's let's give that a shot. Also, well, before we do that, let, I, I want to highlight a feature called Favorites. Um, you can click this heart to add a game to your favorites, and go to your favorites page, either here or up here. Um, and then you have all your favorites in one place. But that's just like a nice, a nice feature I had recently. Okay, so GeoGrid Board 65. This one doesn't look too bad. I, I see that name is 10 letters long. That's kind of funny. And name consists of multiple words. I feel like a lot of names that consist of multiple words are also Ten letters long. Okay, so the Europe ones, I feel like I can get pretty easily. But let's let's look at the name is ten plus letters long. And landlocked. Um, I think is use Uzbekistan. Is that ten letters? Uzbekistan. That is exactly ten letters, so that's that's a that's a good one. <laughs> let's uh let's see Let, yeah let's go with that. Yeah. Epic. Okay. Oh, I love this flag. It's a great flag. Just the colors. I don't know. All right. Uh, name is ten plus letters long. And not a lot of people. And more people. Oh, Capital City has more people than the entire population of these. Okay. Um, what's another country with 10 or more letters? That is a great question. Uh, I was thinking Seo, Tome, and Principe. We could probably use for... Uh, this one? That's ten letters. I mean, well, no, that's multiple words. We don't have to use that one. Uh, oh, wait, wait, I guess we could use that for this one. Population under one million. Do we know of another name with multiple words? Whose population is under one million? Oh, yeah, yeah. There are a bunch of islands. And I, they've probably fit both of these. Let's do Seotome in principle. I'm pretty sure they have under 1 million. Okay, rare. Good. Oh, they have stars in their flag? I Oh, I, I remember now, yeah. I always think of it as one star for Seotome and one star for Principe. I don't know if that's, that's accurate in terms of why the stars are there. That's how I remember... Uh, capital city population over 2 million. Uh, well, no, Switzerland is over 10 letters, but I think their capital city is fairly small. Um, and we should probably focus on non-Europe ones so that we have some left for Europe at the top. Okay, what about Indonesia? Indonesia seems like a good guess. I think Jakarta is the capital city. Is that that's nine letters? That's not ten letters. That's a problem. Okay, hold on. Name is ten letters long. Ten or more letters. Uh, I mean, United States would probably work. Argentina? No, that's nine letters. So, so I think South Korea um, is a good guess for this one. But it's also a good guess for name consists of multiple words 
and I can't think of another one. Um, but let's let's try South Korea. Oh, South Africa. Maybe. All right. Seoul probably has over ten million. Yeah. All right. Good start. Good start. Should we go South Africa? I don't know if the capital city of South Africa is over two million. They only have like three capital cities. <laughs> I don't know. Um. All right. Is landlocked name consists of multiple words? Gosh, I, I always struggle thinking of landlocked countries. Uzbekistan. <laughs> Uh, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, uh, uh, Andorra, uh, Bhutan, Nepal, um, landlocked. Landlocked countries. Um, how about in Asia? Or, or probably Africa. Uh, Democratic Democratic Republic of Congo? Democratic. Although, oh, the name consists of multiple words. Or, sorry, the capital city might be over 2 million, though. Let's, let's do... Uh, Let's do Chad. Chad here. Oh, oh, you can't do Chad there because it doesn't consist of multiple words. I I went from in my head I went from Democratic Republic of Congo to Central African Republic to Chad, and I forgot what the uh, the criteria was. Let's just go Central African Republic. Okay, okay. Oh, they do have a star. A, re a recent one was stars. So I'm looking at finding stars and trying to remember them. Uh, which ones have stars? Name could system multiple words. Okay, I think I want to use Democratic Republic of Congo here. Because they're pretty populated. Okay. And then... Under 1 million... Some island. Um, what's a what's a good island? Uh, an obscure island? Maybe Marshall Islands? Do they have under one million? Yeah, that's a good one. I guess you could count this as a star too. All right, enough about the stars. I think uh, I want to get sort of rare ones. I'm wondering what. Other people will choose because the obvious ones are like Switzerland, uh, Switzerland, mm, Liechtenstein. But those could also be chosen for for name is ten letters long. So maybe maybe get them here instead. I don't know. Um, Liechtenstein, Andorra. Those are like the obvious ones. But like Czechia, Czechia, Slovakia, there, there are a lot of choices. That's what I'm trying to say in Europe. So what if we go for something like Kosovo? Oh no, I can't click right. I have to click reverse. Or Serbia. Like, this seems like legendary, yeah. Well, I mean, there's just a lot of options. Population under 1 million in Europe. You could go Monaco, for sure. Um, not sure if probably Andorra as well. Andorra, Monaco, San Marino, Vatican City. What about instead we go with something like Malta? Or is that too risky? I don't know if they have, they're under one million. Let's go San Marino. Okay, I'll take a rare. I'll take a rare. Capital city, population over 2 million. Now this one, you definitely go like Germany, I think. 
Yan Kingdom. Um, I think Netherlands probably. It seems like Netherlands would. I'm not really sure. I think France and Germany and the United Kingdom are going to be pretty high up there. So is Italy. But what about... What about Netherlands? That's my... my... No! I tried too hard. I should've just... Wait... Azerbaijan's in Europe? Okay, so Wikipedia says Azerbaijan is a transcontinental con uh, country. Um, which... Which, yeah, it's, it's... I guess if it's part of Europe and West Asia. Eastern Europe and West Asia. But like, is Armenia? Also in Europe? Like it. No. Okay. Armenia is not about Georgia. Oh, Georgia is also in Europe. Okay, Georgia and Azerbaijan in Europe. I think, I guess Turkey is also in Europe and Asia. Okay, these are things we got to remember. <laughs> All right, well, that's good to know. I mean, that'll definitely make your score go down. I, uh, I got a little too cute. And I guess the Netherlands, I, well, now I have to know how many people are in the Netherlands. Okay, so the capital of Netherlands is Amsterdam, and they have 921,000 in the city proper. But if you count the metropolitan area, it's got 2.4 million, so we weren't too far off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, well, let's play another game. I'm feeling like we should do some New York Times ones at some point. Oh, we did we did connections, right? Let's just do the classic Wordle. Love a Wordle. Yes, I I know how to play. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's start with power. I love a power start. Yeah, not this one. Not this power start. Quints. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I I like going for the crazy ones. Also, I've I've used almost the entire top row of the QWERTY keyboard. Well, now I have to put get a U. Mm. Uh, not that, that's not a U. That's a Y. Oh no. It's very early in the morning. Alright, so it's got an N. Mm. How about... Nah. That's possible. Nope. Lamb. It doesn't have an O E U R I. I'm liking the chances of the R Y. I want to use that in the top row. It could end in a Y. It could have multiple A's. It could just have one vowel. We don't know yet. <laughs> Manga. Oh, it has multiple A's. <laughs> hey, stop that. Get out of here. Alright. I've guessed manga before, 
and this is the first time it's been right. So that's that's cool. All right. I'm feeling, you know, it's early in the morning. I uh, I, I want something to get my brain going. So let's do some some brain bashers. I uh, think I think we'll we'll be able to get this. I'll be faster if I don't read it out. I don't know what's better. All right. One, six, fifty nine, four, fifty five, eleven, nine, eighty one, seventy five. Great. Nine point seven. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Uh, start. Uh, twenty six hundred and oh, oh gosh. <laughs> 104, 105, oh my goodness, uh, uh, 15, 60, 120, uh, 40, 39, 117, 98, click, 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 okay, oh, it's not, wait, wait, it's 30 seconds, right, we did it, okay, Hard. Uh, forty-five. Five. What? Two and one. Uh, ten, eleven, hundred twenty, one hundred twenty. Uh, hundred eighty. Uh, five, five, forty-five. Uh, times. Wait, what? <laughs> That's not right. Thirty six hundred and oh my gosh, I broke I've broken four hundred forty four? Twelve. Oh, uh three. <laughs> I think <laughs> Alright. I, I got stuck. I definitely got stuck somewhere. Oh right here. That wasn't even the hard one. Oh well. Okay, so we we beat the first two this time. One of these days we'll get all of them. Okay, it's a good warm up early in the morning. Okay, I love disorderly. I think that's a good good puzzle. So sort these movies in order of the year they won the Academy Award for Best Picture, starting with the most recent. Okay. I'm pretty good with dates. Um, Gladiator 2001. Uh, Forrest Gump 1994. Schindler's List, I think, was around this. Around these. English Patient, I, I have no idea. I haven't seen it. To be honest, I, I haven't seen three of these. I haven't seen that or Schindler's List or Silence of the Lambs. I'm just gonna say it's before everything. And Titanic's like 1997. Wait, what? Oh, starting with the most recent! <laughs> I, uh, for some reason, I, my brain uh, my brain went backwards. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know when English patient is. Okay. English patient was 96. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean... I... I think I might... I could have gotten it too. I think. If I... For some reason... I read a most recent picture. Most recent winner, but I... I didn't register. That's good. All right, let's try Searchel. I haven't played this one very much. What? Why? Why is Clever Goat showing up everywhere? All right, what can? What? Wait, what can you cook with? Blank. Okay. There we go. Um, what can you cook with salmon? 
Okay, okay. Hmm. What can you cook with? Six letter words. <laughs> uh, what, what can you cook with? Nuts. What can you cook with? Bread. What can you cook with? Hmm. Uh, what can you cook with? I can I can't think of foods. Cheese. <laughs> I know it's not gonna be right. I just need something. Um. What can you cook with? Celery. <laughs> uh. Neck. Uh, it's not right. And it's a weird answer. Nectar. <laughs> uh, not good with suits. <laughs> All I can think of right now is ice cream. <laughs> Milk. Strawberries. <laughs> this is so sad. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna the next uh, six letter f uh, food I think of I'm putting in this um, orange what can you cook with orange actually pretty helpful um Okay, now what do you start with? Do you start with a G? Maybe it's something, something, something. E-R? Ginger! What can you cook with ginger? Really? Okay, well, we did it. <laughs> I tried to verify this, but I couldn't connect to Google for some reason, so... All right, all right. Let's see. Oh, we haven't played the Wikipedia game. I love the Wikipedia game. So, we have to start at one Wikipedia page and end at another by only clicking links between the pages. So, we have to get to whisk? No, we have to get from whisk to tractor. I can make it bigger. So, a whisk is a cooking utensil which can be used to blend ingredients. Wait, what? To blend ingredients smooth or to incorporate air into a mixture. Oh. Yes. I didn't think about incorporating air into a mixture. So, oh, they can be made from bamboo. Okay, well, we're trying to get the tractor. I mean, bamboo's not the worst. It can get us to maybe wood, other materials, and get us, which would get us to um, maybe equipment. I don't know. There's not a lot of options here because we we already hit the references. <laughs> I like. Um, Julia Child. Hmm. I like bamboo. There's also plastic. Bamboo is more fun. Bamboos are a diverse group of mostly evergreen perennial flower flowering plants. Making up the subfamily bamboos bamboosidae. Bamboosoidae. Of the grass family posi. But you didn't know that. Giant bamboos are the largest members. Okay. Whoa! Look at these guys. This is incredible. Uh, we're trying to get the tractor. Okay. Palms. Mm. Building materials. That's sort of what I was thinking of. Wood? Yeah, I was thinking we could go to the wood. 
Tensile strength, yeah. Yeah, we're getting in the, the right territory here. I, maybe we we go for something like um. Let's go with building materials. Because you sort of use a tractor sometimes to help you build construction. Like, that's what I was thinking. I guess. I, maybe. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't... I guess I should go to farming, not construction. Even though you can use tractors to to aid in constructing things. Mm. Design. I want vehicles. <laughs> construction vehicles, please. <laughs> no. No. I, I what page am I even on? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Safety, that's important. See, also. Hmm, not good. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. No, and I, I really want to go to this page. Environmental impact of concrete. You can't tease me like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, between four and eight percent of total global CO two emissions come from concrete. That's I mean that's a fair amount. I was thinking more of just like the concrete, um, like it's, I don't know, effect on the soil or something, I don't know. Uh, concrete is used to create hard surfaces which contribute to surface runoff that may cause soil erosion, water pollution, and flooding. Oh, okay, yeah. Um... Yeah, you know, you do need concrete to build dams and do all this other stuff. Light colored concrete can reduce the urban heat island effect due to its higher al albedo. What does that mean? Albedo? Albedo. Oh, okay. Just, just the fraction of sunlight. <laughs> That is diffuse, diff, diffusely reflected by a body. Cool. Can we go back? We'll see a back button. <laughs> We're stuck. Um. Oh. No, that's a lot of greenhouses. Hello. crazy uh how do we get out of here wait what did that say not to be accused <laughs> libido <laughs> i wasn't confusing it uh, that's i wasn't uh, i didn't even think about that oh oh now this is a good chart i need to save this one Yeah, fresh snow, very good, very good albedo. Water, not the best, not the best, but that's okay. Some things, I mean, it's not always good to reflect sunlight. You want to absorb some from some sometimes. Okay, um, we're trying to get the farming. Trees, some people farm trees, like bamboo. Black carbon. Huh. What? I'm not clicking this. You can't make me. 
I want to, but I don't know if I'd be able to get out. I need to get back to I, I, I construction or something. I don't know. Oh, here we go. What are all of these words? Cool roof, Daisy World. No, I. I don't know most of these words. Okay. Um, global dimming. I kind of want to click on cool roof. I, there better be a cool roof. Huh? Hmm. Haven't seen the cool roof yet. This is disappointing. I'm disappointed. That's all I'm gonna say. Not a single cool roof on this page. How about we try to get a tractor? No till farming. Out of nowhere. Cool roof, you saved the day. Hopefully. <laughs> Agriculture plowing. There's gotta be tractor on this page, right? Maybe not. Because you use tra tractors to till. So let's go to tilling. Or tillage. Tillage. That's a tractor. We win. Hmm. No, not human power. We want the other power. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Farm tractor. We did it. All right. So we went from whisk to bamboo to building material, construction, environmental impacts of concrete, <laughs> albedo, albedo, cool roof, no till farming, tillage, tractor. Probably the the Probably the, the, um, the standard route, I'd say. Alright, good. Good work. Let's try a movie. Movie. Uh, movie emojis. Kind of my cup of tea. Let's see. A daily movie game using emojis. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's got a bird. Bird. Birdie. Bye-bye, birdie. Goodbye. No. No, it's not. Uh, bird. I don't know if this is... I, I can't think of any bird movies. Oh. Happy mask and sad mask. <laughs> Does that mean it's a play? Um, I it's not not helpful for me. Okay, we already know it's a movie. This you're using the same you're using the same emojis. All right, I'll skip that one. Okay, sneaker, sneak up on the birdie. That's don't do that. Well, you well, you'll probably do that if you're a cat, but birds birds uh, need to live. Even though I like cats, and cats kill a lot of birds. Not that we should be talking about that right now. Um, bird. Let's see what we got down here. Bird box. Huh? Let's see. There we go. Ladybird. Let's try Ladybird. Oh, I thought I got it because of the clapping. <laughs> no. I, I don't understand this. I don't understand these emotions. There's a bird. There's a play. There's a movie. 
There's a, a cat behind me talking to me. There's some sneakers, maybe some running. Maybe there's a race. There, there, there's, I, hi, buddy. It's okay. I don't know. I, I think I, I think I might need to give up, but I want to say something. Oh, hello. There's a cat on my desk. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, kitty. Okay. How about... Um... Eagle. Eagle eye. Is it Birdman. It was Birdman. Well... I didn't. I didn't get it. That's alright. I don't know that movie. So. Alright. So we did. Uh. Did a lot of these. How about Jumbly? We haven't played Jumbly yet. Today's theme is computer. All right, diaper clip, computer. I like computers; they're pretty cool. I'm I'm on the computer right now, believe it or not. Mm, how about keyboard? Nope, doesn't have those letters. Key, I um, keyboard, mouse. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, keyboard, mouse, and. Uh, monitor, <laughs> processor, motherboard, mm. yes, graphics card, <laughs> cords, electricity, power, power? Hmm. Electrons. Science. Computation. Probably not. Hmm. Hmm. Shuffle. I'm noticing they're not. Oh, there's. Okay. I was waiting for them to put a vowel on the first row. <laughs> Um, computer. When I think of a computer, I think computer. Mm. Computer mouse, computer monitor, screen. Mm. Hmm, the informal. Um, power. <laughs> um, computers are very powerful. Yes. Ray, computer, the computer tray. <laughs> um, water powered computers. Mm. Um, I'm sitting in a seat, a computer seat. Computers have feet? So, very rarely. Rest. Armrest. For your mouse. For your, for your rest. Computer wear. You gotta be safe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. All right, we we are shuffling. I think I feel like that they made it where it doesn't sh it, the shuffling won't present you with the word because every time I shuffle, I don't get any help. I feel like I feel like that's a little bit mean. 
a little, a little, a little wrong. But maybe it's, maybe it's good. Maybe it's a good thing. Um, my computer appears. Yes. Help. Please help. <laughs> no. No, this isn't, this isn't the help I wanted. All right. You can give up at, after at least five correct, uh, incorrect addresses. Oh. Well, I don't see a button to give up. All right. There, there aren't that there aren't that many letters left. Hmm. It's not Trey. <laughs> okay. I th this uh, uh, is probably gonna have to be my last game. I need to. I need to go soon. Let's see. Um, watts, they use watts, wattage, power, yes. Um, I can't think of anything. Watts. Hmm. Okay. After sitting back and thinking for a second... Come up with tower. Okay. <laughs> like a computer tower. It's a good guess. Um, I need. I need to give up. I don't want. I. I'm. I'm. I'm out of time. You can give up after at least... Would you like to give up? Yes, please. I'm sorry. I, I'm out of time. Type and software. Well, share my score. <laughs> what, what does it say if I don't win? Oh, it says I gave up after 12 guesses in 6 minutes and 52 seconds. Yep. Okay. Alright, well... I have to go, but I hope you enjoyed those games today, and I'll probably, hopefully, see you tomorrow. Goodbye.